Ohio State at Michigan State. Uh, this one's this one's interesting, right? Michigan State, a 27-point home underdog. And Mel Tucker uh, has seen better days, my friends, in East Lansing. Yikes on that one. Uh, the latest line, of course, is over at BetUS. Uh, it's 4 p.m. Eastern time on ABC. Ohio State, a 27-point favorite. Ohio State is 5-0 and against the spread their last five against Michigan State. They took it personally back in 2015 when Michigan State came into their house and beat them and ended up going to the playoff. Uh, they are 7-3 and against the spread their last 10 against teams with a losing record. Michigan State, however, 7-1-2 and against the spread in their last 10 at home. Interesting. Interesting. That game last year where they got blown out by Ohio State was actually at the horseshoe. So... You look at some of these stats here, uh, which I didn't pull up on the screen, and I probably should have. My apologies. Uh, I've got Ohio State by a lot. Michigan State is not a good football team. They're just not good at all. Uh, There's nothing that I can find where they have an advantage. Even the things that they're good at, uh, Ohio State's actually better. So, like, you think, all right, well, Michigan State's number 11 in average field position on offense. Well, that's great, unless you're playing the number two average field position defense. It's not not great. Um, I just I can't find any way to keep Michigan State in this ball game. And this isn't like a look ahead spot for Ohio State. And the fact that Mel Tucker has been you know going out on the recruiting trail, etc. This is kind of one of those spots where I think that <laughs> I think Ryan Day may run it up just to prove a point. That's what I'm. That's what I'm curious about. This is Michigan State is a team that wants to start recruiting at the same level as Ohio State, and the way that you curb that is by going out and just whipping them in their own house. Uh, they're getting a lot of their weapons back this week. It feels like uh, they should be awesome. Uh, my number as this at forty, almost forty-one. Yeah, this this could be about as bad as it was last year. It's the number one PPA per pass offense against the number 118 PPA per pass defense. Whew. Yeah, boy. That's crazy. And this is over the last four weeks. It doesn't even include that, that week one game. So, yeah, this is uh, this could get bad. So, give me Ohio State to cover the 27 here. It's under four touchdowns. I know that we lost a bunch of value. I think this thing rose like three points. It, it just wasn't set at the right spot. Just one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.